Yo, Operation Recall backers. What's up, everybody? This is Carson, your fearless executive officer. I thought I'd go live and show you guys the process for creating the Midnight Op Rotello. And so this is the line art that Ron Rudak created after he went through some revisions and kind of finalized the look and feel of Rotello. You'll notice that Homer isn't there, but that's not indicative of Homer not being in the final product. That's just how this line art worked out. So the first thing I wanted to do for Midnight Ops Rotello was to decide on the color palette. And the easy way to do that is to go through and create flats or layers of color where you're selecting each place that that deco would go or that that color should appear. So the first color I settled on was brown for the beard and the pants. Of course, black, whole lot of black for the boots and the knee pads and the guns and the smoke grenades and the concussion grenades and the backpack and the keyboard and the helmet and the gloves. There's just a lot of black there. He's a midnight ops guy, so that's natural. Gray for the shirt. You'll notice that the American flag goes to monotone as well. Green for the bandana and the straps that are on his chest and the flare gun holster and his boot straps. And then flesh color, of course. Uh, we're not changing the color of the guy. And then red, a nice little touch of red on the infrared sensor, the keyboard monitor on his keypad on his right forearm, and also a little bit of red on the sight on his six hour machine gun, and then silver on his belt buckle and his flare gun. So that's what we got for the color study. That's called a color study in the business. And so that's what we're working with for Midnight Ops Rotello. My next step was to modify this card art from the original card art painted by Doug Hart. One of the things that we needed to do first was go through and again, select these layers and determine which parts we want to change. So here you can see the Vietnamese tiger stripe fatigues. We've edited those to just be brown and it differentiates this character from the other. The boots and the gun holster added the green trim right there. The knee pads obviously needed to go to the black. The belt and pouches right here needed to go darker. The shirt needed to go from blue to gray, so there's that. The backpack needed to go to black and the straps that hold it to him. And then the actual straps for the grenades and stuff will be separate from that. The guns, gloves, and grenades are on one layer here, so those went darker. The keyboard on his forearm needed to go darker. The digital readout is going with the red color that we selected. The green straps need to change to that uh, green that's going to match his handkerchief. Speaking of the handkerchief, there's the edited handkerchief as well. Then the helmet and microphone was going towards all black, so we've modified those. And then the drone has this kind of purple look to it, modified that to just be gray. So that was how we modified each layer there. So here's a quick look kind of before and after at the original artwork for Rotello and then the modified Midnight Ops artwork for Rotello. I think he looks awesome. I'm really, really happy with him. Here's the mint on card reference. The next step was to start fleshing out the packaging. And so one of the things that I wanted to do was make sure this had a significantly different feel from what Hasbro did with the Night Force stuff. We had to get rid of the explosion background. We did want to use the explosion background again, uh, but we also didn't want to use the horizontal stripes. So let's get rid of that. And so the process for doing that was simply going in and cutting out this figure, which was very time intensive and also cutting out the drone and then creating these outline layers uh, on white. Then I decided to create a shard explosion. Boom. And uh, so basically this is, he's just blown right through this wall and created this, these colors of blue and green as he kind of smashed right through it. So he's basically doing some midnight breaking and entering. Anyway, I uh, thought we'd go with some blue boxes instead of red boxes on the original mint on card figure. And these card backs don't work unless you have your white border. So there's our white border. And that's a good look at our packaging right now. Of course, we got to have a Midnight Ops logo. So spent some time working on that as well. It's a nice little logo. There's actually uh, some pretty cool visuals in it. At the midnight hour, there's this little red tick on the clock that sits inside of Ops. And I thought that was a pretty cool little uh, harken back to the logo that we have. So this green stripe and the little red tick up here and the brown stripe going down the side and the little red tick over here. And then the red tick inside of the, uh, the clock right there at the midnight mark. So that's a pretty cool little logo. We'll be using that for midnight Ops throughout. I haven't laid the rest of the packaging out. Uh, I'm getting the layered elements from Sean Morrill so that I can drop in 
the rest of the elements that we need. But I wanted to give you guys an update and show you what the revised packaging is looking like for this guy. He's going to be awesome. And uh, thank you guys for backing the campaign. When we get to the halfway mark, we will unlock this figure. So if you're liking what you're seeing in terms of Midnight Ops Rotello, please help spread the word. Help get people on board with this campaign. We've almost gotten to halfway. We've unlocked a lot of figures. At 240, we will unlock two figures, Clanker and Tank and Midnight Ops Rotello. And that'll put us squarely over the 50% mark. And we will be continuing through to a backer kit and any money raised in the backer kit will continue unlocking figures. So for you all in folks who are not locked into getting duplicates of figures, if you don't want duplicates of figures, you can just hold off. And as we unlock additional figures, you can obviously add those to your queue that you're paying for. So thank you guys all for the passionate response to this. Thank you everybody that sent in artwork and music and creative writing and all kinds of things, man. You guys have been amazing. So obviously we're working hard over here on our end. Mark is working on Clinker and Tank this week. And Ron Rudat is digging in on his second figure. I believe he was going to work on Bear Claw. Thank you guys for backing and I hope you've enjoyed this live video.